What would effectively doubling the size of Curious Joel do to the environment? How would it impact the Hasidic Village's neighbors? Well, tonight, those questions and concerns are coming to a head at a public forum about the controversial plan to annex 500 acres of Monroe land to Curious Joel. News 12's Blaise Gomez joins us now from the Bias Rochelle Paradise Hall, where that meeting is taking place. Blaze. this meeting because of the weather. You can see we've gotten about two inches of snow and right now we are getting a wintry mix, but village leaders are adamant about keeping this meeting on as scheduled. You can see there's a plow here in the parking lot trying to keep things clear, but a lot of folks are saying they feel this is a deliberate attempt to keep people from coming. A representative for Curious Joel said Tuesday folks with environmental concerns on the proposal to double the Hasidic village in size can send them in writing until March 10th. Critics dislike that option. On Facebook, Claire M. said that it's not the same and they know it. And Aileen S. said how can they share information if no one other than themselves are there? Village leaders have promised a thorough and fair environmental study since being awarded control by the state despite concerns the municipality is unfit to oversee the process. Folks I saw in the village today didn't want to comment and wouldn't say if they were planning to attend. Are you going to the meeting tonight about the annexation? No? Are you guys going to the meeting tonight on the annexation by chance? Are you going to the meeting tonight on the annexation? Now we are told that village leaders we are told that village leaders will have an opportunity to speak with us tonight for comment on all of this. If you are planning on coming, Monroe dial bus is offering a shuttle here from the Monroe Senior Center. And if you can't make it because of the weather, that uh, address to mail in your comments can be found on our website at News12.com. We're in Curious Joel, Blaze Gomez, News12.